Hey everybody, Doug A798 here back for another review and this time I'm reviewing the DC animated feature length films Green Lantern First Flight and Green Lantern Emerald Knights which were both released in 2010 and 2011 respectful, respectfully. My, my uncle downloaded both of these movies to my computer in um, 2012 and um, I've been watching them ever since. I'm a huge fan of both of these movies. Both of these movies are, are some of my favorite, um, are two of my favorite animated films of all time. And, um, and with that being said, I'm going to start off with the very first one, Green Lantern First Flight. I saw this in early 2010 when it premiered on Cartoon Network. And I enjoyed it. It was awesome. I love the animation. I love the new animation design. The updated fight scenes. The updated fight scenes. And um, the musical score, which made the scenes seem even more epic. And the strong, and the strong writing. The only thing I probably hate about this film is that it was a feature-length film. I wish they would have took this same animation and made a um several episode cartoon series I love some of the DC films but I prefer c their cartoons more um but this was an awesome um adaptation of the um Green Lantern I love how they modernized and revamped everything made mixed traditional DC American animation with um Japanese um animation Sinestro the main antagonist of the of the Green Lantern first flight film has a more realistic Jap Asian design than his um traditional big head comic book design. Then of course um the updated I love the updated fight scenes. The fight scenes remind me of um the comic books, the Green Lantern, Green Lantern, but also of Fist of the North Star, Dragon Ball Z, and Naruto. Naruto, especially the end when the Green Lantern was this green, cuby, Super Saiyan looking um figure it was awesome and um epic when him and Sinestro were fighting but um yeah then uh then of course it was dark edgy and intense which is what I love about the DC animated features and um and it was comical and hilarious um too the plot is is that um Abin Sir of course gets killed by um Kinjaro and um, how Jordan ends up getting his ring. Of course, just like in the live action film, um, the other Green Lanterns do not take too lightly to um, how Jordan obtaining Abin Sur's ring. Th they think that the ring made a mistake and try several times to remove the ring. Sinestro immediately takes a liking to how Jordan, how Jordan, and takes him under his wing. Takes him under his wing. Um, throughout the film. Sinestro expresses his contempt for the Guardians, believing they have become soft in their times of um in their times of peace, and, and they don't know what it's like to lead. And then they feel that the Guardians are wasting their power and wasting Sinestro's efforts by having him do normal cleanup tasks, as he um, puts it in the film. But this all ends when um but late later in the film, during a mission, the Guardians demand Sinestro capture. The main, the other antagonist of the film, Ken Jaro, alive, alive after Sinestro ki brutally killed um Ken Jaro's um henchman, who was the guy who killed Abin Sir. Sinestro tries to form some kind of alliance with Ken Jaro to to achieve a weapon called the Yellow Element, called the Ye Yellow Element. Um, after a meeting between them fails, Sinestro betrays uh, betrays Ken Jaro and kills him. And um kills him and frames how Jordan frames how Jordan um for for the crime during when when Sinestro later t obtains the yellow element how Jordan and Kilowog Kilowog and Boudica spot him Boudica reveals she is with Sinestro by attacking Kilowog and um and um Sinestro gains the uh, gains the yellow element and creates the yellow ring yellow ring energy and creates a giant yellow yellow ring energy and kills several green lanterns and and disables the rings of the other green lanterns and tells them to take them off and crushes each one's ring and it's up to how jordan to stop him to stop him like i said this was an awesome um 
This was an awesome film, strong writing, awesome animation and character designs, character artwork, and um, awesome voice acting and awesome score. The score, like I said, reminds me of the Duel of Fate Star Wars song and makes the scenes feel epic, just like I said in my Green Lantern live action um, review. Um, only thing I hate about it is, I, is that as much as I love the animated films, I wish they would have made a cartoon series instead. It's the only problem I have with it. Then I, now the second um, film, Green Lantern Emerald Knights. This film, per, this film is completely different from the first film, but features some of the same cast members in different roles, and features the same animation and character art, artwork, artwork design, design. Green Lantern Emerald Knights. The plot of this is that. The, the Green Lantern Ardaka, Ardaka, Ardaka the Green Lantern Ardaka is coming back from a mission and on and on her way back she encounters um she encounters the main antagonist of the film Krona Cronus 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 kills her kills her and now the Green Lanterns the Green Lanterns must charge must charge their rings and take the fight to Cronus who has threatened the who has threatened Oa and the existence of its inhabitants. Um um, while, while they're waiting and charging their rings, waiting in line, Hal Jordan tells a new recruit several stories of how, how the several Green Lanterns, how the several Green Lanterns came to be, who the first Green Lantern was, the, sto the story of Lara, the story of why Kilowog is as harsh of a drill sergeant he is, and, um, and, um, the, um, backstory of Abin Sir, Abin Sir and Sinestro, which of course predicts the future of Sinestro becoming a bad guy, becoming a bad guy, and um, and um, the backstory of Lara and her father, and um, and many more, many more, and then at the end of the film, they all have a giant epic fight scene with um, with the villain Krona. This movie was just as awesome as the first one. The only thing, I, the only problem I have with this movie is that as awesome as this movie is, is on its own. I hate how it has nothing to do with the first one. I hate how it has nothing to do with the first one, despite having the same animation and some of the same voice actors. Back is completely different from the first one. It has nothing to do with the first one, but this movie was still entertaining. It had everything. The last one had strong artwork, strong character designs, strong character um designs all the same score as the last one which made the scenes epic this film was even more was even more emotional and more heroic than the last one because this film was mostly talking about backstories and how these characters um came to be came to be and um this was just an awesome film like i said i love both of these films the green lantern films are some of my favorite dc animated films and some of my favorite animated films of all time and um the Green Lantern is one of my favorite superheroes of all time, and I think he's criminally underrated. I'm always excited to watch a movie, cartoon, or a live-action movie featuring Green Lantern. Well, this was my review of the Green Lantern animated reviews. I may redo these separately in the future for a more in-depth review, or I'll, or I'll talk about these movies in other videos. But for right now, um, Doug8798 out.